Okay, here we are doing another demo. Uh, this time I'm running through Gitpol, G-Y-T-P-O-L. Uh, this is their newest rollout. Um, I am acting as, again, as like I don't know what's going on with the system, which is what I always do because I usually don't know what's going on. Um, and if you notice quickly, just to give the caveat, yes, this says hi, Mark, up here at the right. Um, because I am using a demo system, I'm not Mark, obviously. This was provided to me. So Anyway, uh, what we're looking at is the validator. Um, this is kind of your, I believe your scroll of kind of what machines are doing what where. Yep, um, but I don't think you can go down the rabbit hole on any of these. So just tell, it's kind of your, your landing page. Um, okay, so going into this, what fun things could we find? Let's start at the top left because that just makes life easy. Misconfigurations by category servers. Cool. Uh, oh, nice. So it gives us a breakdown on what we're looking at and why. Allows privilege process to expect malware, etc. Has this little hat here. Okay, the hat is the explanation. Great. The risk. Awesome, because they're saying that this is a risk, not the you know technical side of it. Then there's the reference for fixing it, and then it tells you how to do it manually. Very cool. Uh, let's go see what happens when we go down in here. Hi, fix this stuff, this machine. There we go. Again, it tells you the subject up here. It tells you the description, suggest how to fix it. Now, you wouldn't want to try and fix this stuff at scale, especially not if you're dealing with you know enterprise of any size, but it just is great that a vendor is willing to say, here's a way to fix it. Uh, and then it tells you the severity the usernames that are affiliated with it. And what's this do? The wrench, debug privilege, blah, blah. Okay, cool, and remediate. So you would actually be able to fix the problem, not just be told about it. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go see what other stuff we've got in here. Any other server things that are very interesting? Ah, print spooler. Everyone always forgets about printers. Um, so many attackers use this service as their front door to the servers. It's recommended to disable the service via Git pull. Now I wonder if it'll give us a run through on like what things are where and why. All right, the why is always the most valuable principle or service. Yep. Okay, cool. So when this happened, the active printers is it automatic. Now this is what I was looking for. Why? Right. No printings were made in the last thirty days. So what it's saying is. There's a high problem here. There's a vulnerable system. There's a thing you should fix. <clears throat> and really what you're dealing with is no one's using this printer. There's no one using it. So it's an avenue of compromise and it's not really providing business value. So fix the problem and shut that off. Um, click the wrench, all this cool stuff, remediate and auto reapply, which does automatically reapply the select remediation. So cool. So you're able to actually fix the problem and you can auto reapply because you're going to have to do that. And you don't want to have to come back to this thing all the time to constantly fix the issue, especially when a large percentage of the issues you're going to be dealing with are kind of repetitive in nature. So very, very cool. Uh, what else we got here? Domain controllers, always an issue. AD connect creds. Ooh, global admin password is exposed. Yep, again, tells you right there, clean, clear, land on it. Well, let's go look at that. So here it is. You know, you don't want that admin password exposed. That's a bad thing. That's a no-no. And then if we go down into that rabbit hole, it's nice too that your, your drop downs are very concise. You know, a lot of times you see where there's so much stuff going on, you don't know which thing to click where, but here, you even got this little block that when you hover over it will give you the actual rundown. So domain, bad password, he, uh, and then, yeah, you would want to fix that. So when we click the wrench, yep. Now, because this is a demo system and there's a back end stuff or whatever, I can't do some of this remediation, but you get the point. I can click remediate um, and fix it. So again, clean, simple, clear, well done. Uh, endpoints, endpoints. All right. 
Debug privilege, dangerous low-level privilege granted debug, solar winds. Uh, interesting that they even have the solar winds thing on here. So because that's a hot topic, I'm going to click there. Solar wind services, running a state list of users, disable it. Okay. Ah, SFTP server. Wah, wah. Yeah. So notice that this wrench is red, which means this is probably a, you know, deal with this now. And there you go. So uh, this generic thing, group policy update plus user without restart, user with restart. So you can push that that way. And this red wrench actually means the remediation failed, the action reported no error, but the scanner found it. So it's just continuing to come back up. So we'll fix that problem. Anything else in the endpoints that's quickly super interesting? Debug privilege, low level privilege granted. Everyone wants to take care of privilege problems. Again, they tell you how to fix it manually, which I think is amazing. Change setting to null. So, I mean, this is really useful because you're dealing with lots of machines, um, thousands, potentially tens of thousands. You want to fix this thing at scale. Go down into it. There it is again. Yep. And it tells you again where the fix is. And again, because this is back end stuff, I can't really do some of this, but you get the point. What about, what else we got on here? VDIs, okay, remote employees. Oh, all right, so we're able to look at, you know, things on remote employees. We're able to look at the creds on their actual Wi-Fi, which is very useful because people have bad Wi-Fi security and passwords and et cetera, and that would lead you to potentially avenues of compromise. Wi-Fi password is weak and not complex enough. And if we go down into the box here. All right. Oh, all right. It even tells us what the actual thing is. So there you go. Hover. Password is a bad password. Just uh, some stars there. So that sucks. And are you able to fix that? So, okay, so again, because this is remote and this is not something that necessarily is connected to the enterprise that you don't necessarily own, you couldn't push a fix to that, but you would have a way to track it, make a ticket, whatever you wanted to do, or reach out to that individual via Slack or Twitter or whatever and say, hey, go fix your Wi-Fi password. So pretty slick. Uh, just checking here one more time. RDP, remote desktop, services active. So lots of those, you know, is up and running, possible via the protocol, vulnerable protocol, disable on work stations. It is recommended to disable, uh, yeah, sure. So if we go in here, remote desktop service. Nice, this is simple. This makes it, I mean, I'm always a fan of stuff that is simple, that's clean, easy to understand. You can figure out what you're doing and you don't need to be a, computer scientists to know this is a problem. I should fix this. Okay, well, why would I fix this? Oh, well, here's why you fix this. And it's in plain English. Um, VDI stuff. Yep. So there's some of this is redundant just because we're doing things in different, uh, you know, sort of enterprise on-prem, off-prem, hybridized, whatever. Uh, policy validation. Great. Very clean. Very clear which things are right, which things are wrong, where there's high and low and medium problems, common alerts and solutions. I love, love, love that it tells you what the solution is on top of the alert. Thank the Lord for that. Policies for users, alerts, orgs, yep. Login, uh, yeah, so interesting that it has some of this stuff. Um, probably more better telemetry for, you know, who's doing what, when and where, and then maybe for anomaly detection in the future. AD security, policy objects for AD for Azure Active Directory, maintenance, oh, great. Okay, so it tells you all this stuff about unlinked GPOs, group policy cleanup, overall collections, performance, super useful stuff, compliance, CIS benchmarks, nice. So it actually has the CIS benchmarks in here with all the plain English stuff that you would need which things go where, where they would be applied. And then does it tell you 
Yep. Oh, wow. It does tell you that you've actually done a lot of those things. So get the validators off your back, get the auditors off your back, go on about your day, do your job. Well done, Git pull. ISO, yep. It doesn't say ISO 27001, but I'm guessing that's what it is. ISO auditing. And yes, red, orange, green. Slick. Cloud. Azure security, token stuff, compliance, DLP label policies, MFA not being uh, turned on. Yep, on-prem versus cloud, permissions, certs. Again, like the point here is, tells you what it is, tells you if there's an issue, can you figure out what's going on, and then a clear description of the problem. Can't ask for a whole lot more. And then best practices. Azure best practices, nice domain whitelisting, uh, yep, scanning stuff, yep, okay, cool, anti-phishing, malware, anti-spoofing. So overall, I mean, this is a heck of a well-put-together system, very clean, um, you can understand what's what, you know which things go where, uh, you're able to dial in and vector in on the fixes that you're looking for. Um, and uh, the output is, is a fix. It's not just an alert. Um, and you don't have to be a computer scientist to use the system. Like I said, I, I went and looked at their site, um, had one email back and forth with their SE just to make sure I understood what the heck I was doing and get my account or his account because it's a demo uh, and then do the stuff. So to the folks at uh, Gitpole and the folks uh, out there looking for these types of solutions, clean, clear, concise, well done, does the job, makes life easy. I would use this.